Watch this! We go again. Uh, I could skip for an uncommon Joker and then not be able to afford it, so let's play it out. All I need is a 10 here, and we've got a straight, so let's go fishing for that. Or I could just go for the old reliable flush. Three, four, five. Just need the six of uh, diamonds. Is it in my deck? Let's go fishing. We don't need the nine, right? <sighs> I'm so unlucky, chat. It's unreal. Can we get the screen shape get back on? It's extra dopamine when you play big hands. I like it, but uh, a lot of people very much don't. Let's go raised fist. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of that. I don't know. I might be overvaluing it, but it tends to put in a lot of work for me. I've got uh, two pair. And having two pair of like twos is actually pretty good with the raised fist. Let's discard these for a better raised fist value, and that's perfect. Absolutely annihilated. Even cards. It's something that I'll have to like pay attention to and think about, so let's just get a Celestial pack so we can get some direction for what we want to build towards. <gasps> All right, I'll be a, uh, I'll deviate a little bit. How do you feel, chat, about taking a trip to Uranus? We've got two pair already. Let's just get rid of this for the, yeah. Now we've got... This says the raised fist. Gimme money. Swashbuckler. Not great at this stage. I think we just keep farming money. We'll do the opposite of last round and uh, and just like accumulate interest instead of doing the reverse. Let's discard these, then we can go here and here, or the raised fist value once more. If your hand contains a pair, that's what we're working towards. Four dollars, I do lose one dollar of interest, but spectral pack's fun, so do the fun thing. Add a foil holographic polychrome effect to one selected card in hand. Create two copies of one selected card in your hand. Now, if I create two copies of this ace, that'll make it a lot easier to get my two pair, right? But also polychrome fun. So let's do the ace of hearts. And go next. I like free jokers. Hearts. And we got the swashbuckler after all. Like our jokers are already almost filled out. We just need some, again, multiplicative options. Let's go here. Keep these for the sake of the raised fist. Five, six, seven, eight. Sure. Uh, discard these for the raised fist again. And then that is perfect.
It's very relaxing to watch. I can start shouting if you want and like really create some dissonance between what's going on on the screen and... Oh, hey, Uranus, chat. We found it. Also, spare trousers with a two-pair build. Streamer luck engaged. I'm just... Okay, forget everything I said about that interest. I'm just going on a spending spree here. You can't stop me, chat. Three of a kind, high card. Three of a kind it could work with the uh, Sly Joker and the pair of pants because full house counts as two pair as well. Or three of a kind. Doesn't, though. Never mind. Where is your anus? Okay, here's your full house. I can't believe you would deny me your anus like that game. Doubles my money. Uh, I want to start taking rounds so that I can scale the spare trousers. Two pair. But let's play the lower two pair. Discard the low cards. Actually, I don't want to discard the low cards because I want to play more than one hand so that I can get the spare trousers going. Cool. Now I just need another pair to play. I said I just need another pair to play. I have three queens left. Okay, this works. Played hand. So. A full house counts towards the spare trousers as well, just like it counts towards the sly joker. That is our multiplicative scaling. Honestly, I think we're just kind of set on our jokers from here on out, right? So let's buy some celestial packs, get... Uranus and Earth. Those are the two things that we're looking for. Uranus is huge right now. Skip this. For, even though we don't get to scale the trousers, we could scale Uranus still. And Earth. We hit both. Uranus is growing. Here's two pair. I'm going to play it for the sake of the ramen. I don't want to discard, and I would potentially want to play more than one hand. Even though we don't have great raise fist value, I'm way too strong. Spectral pack. We can just kind of click buttons right now because we're... <laughs> We're doing so well. Uh, Ectoplasm is pretty good. That is a negative joker. That gives us one more uh, joker slot. I don't want money right now. I want to scale the trousers. I see two pair. I do have a full house, but that's going to win. But, like, again, the dopamine hit. Cannot be denied. Hologram. Okay, so we grab this and um, put this here for right now because this is 1x. And what we want to do is start adding cards to our deck. I don't think I need another negative joker. I've had a lot of seven joker rounds so far. I just really want to make these pair of trousers as big as Uranus. Two pair. This is out of control. Could also just grab... No, I need to get the standard packs here. The mega standard pack. It is holographic. Thank you. And 
don't think it matters. Just take the high card. Can move this back now. The flower pot is actually quite good for this deck. But I don't think I can reasonably afford it. So, we can just go next. We've got some decent, decent multiplicative scaling already. I kind of want a lower point value, again, to keep getting the trousers up, so I'm going to keep the three in hand. I can't stop winning! Mars standard pack is good for the uh, hologram. The wild card doesn't really make a difference, so let's just grab a jack. See if we can get more Uranus. Pluto, high card pair, sure. We'll take a pair upgrade for the sake of the Sly Joker. I would like to be able to afford that, no, I don't need the double tag, uh, that voucher eventually. Uh-oh. I have zero pairs here. I have one pair here. I have three of a kind. I think that's leveled up, right? Let's just go for it. I don't want to waste a discard. Two pair. And, yeah, this is just a free one. Good god. <laughs> Alright. This hologram is starting to do work right now. Standard pack, jumbo standard pack. Grab the jumbo since that spends all our money. Or, I don't think it matters what we add as long as we're adding something. So maybe this helps me save money for the voucher? Seven is planet card. If this is held. Sure, it's the same card. We might get out of the ramen at some point, I don't know. Eh. Spectral pack, I want to keep getting this up. Like, if I can get this to 20, be in business. The tailoring business, in fact. Stop winning! <laughs> We're too strong. Wait, I can afford the voucher? Perfect. That honestly just makes the final boss pretty free. First hand is drawn face down. I think I care about that. Look at this. Boom! We'll just play it out. Two pair! You just gotta believe, chat. Oh, and we get another hand to draw. Um... There's actually a decent chance one of these is a three, right? Either it's a th one of them is either a three or the one of them or both of them are twos. So this is another two pair. Easy. Celestial pack for more Uranus. This is the last shop, so we might as well spend our money. Earth or Full house. Earth for full house. So we want to aim for a big full house to, to close things off. Let's see if we can go one and done with the uh, the boss here. Eights. What if we just end up doing this? Not quite. This will likely do it, though. Plus 24 pants. Back to the old anal gif.
Skip this and then play the big blind. Two random tarot cards or two ran let's go random planet cards. Venus and Neptune. Straight flush, Venus is three of a kind. I could turn this two into an ace, and then we could be a three of a kind gamer. Told you. I mean, actually, we just have a full house. 50 times 5. That's... It's worse. Yeah, we get, probably want to get ourselves a one joker here. Not really excited about this one. Let's just hang on to our interest. Just looking for a third ace, which should be... Well... Hmm. I want to hold all of these so that we don't discard the aces. Nice. Fantastic. Got our double tag. Pair of pants. That is an early pair of trousers. And an early Fibonacci. I love both of these. Double money. This will give me $20. Or double Mega Celestial pack. This isn't that great when we've got the double tag option, but I think I want the Celestial pack. Let's look for a pair for our pants. I mean, this contains a two pair, right? <laughs> no Fibonacci value though, SMH my head. All right, I just need another pair for the eights. I should hang on to my Fibonacci cards though, right? Eh, I don't think it matters that much. I just need the spare trousers upgraded. There we go. Popcorn? Popcorn early is just the nuts. I should have done this first. That's an order of lull moment. I made one dollar out of it though, so. I'm skipping this for two of these packs. I want um, Full House and Uranus again. Let's go Uranus. And Earth. Uranus. And Earth. No stonks, just a singular, singular stonk? Yeah. As a bit of a whoopsie. Okay, so... We want stuff in the middle because the Fibonacci tends to be like aces and low cards. Or eights. Just give me another pair here. I have a straight, but that's for nerds. There we go. We should actually just win because they're both Fibonacci.
<laughs> Boy, did it ever win. One hand size, I could get another Celestial pack. I don't know what this Neptune is doing. Let's sell it. I should have sold it before the, uh, the Hermit. Alright. Yeah, we're getting the Mega Standard pack rather than the Juggle tag. I don't really care about that. That is a Polychrome Wild card. Polychrome gives us some multiplicative scaling, which is nice. It's also a Fibonacci card, so we just snag that. Probably this as another Fibonacci card. This gets discarded, which could get me a lot more tarot cards, but I think we want the points for a long-term value. Ace, yep. It's a Fibonacci card. Eights, I think I have a high density of, and that's a Fibonacci card as well. So that's perfect with our strategy. We take this one, scale the trousers a bit more. Unfortunately, this might just end it. Oof, good. Uh, eights are likely to hit. Eights are still likely to hit. There we go. Doesn't matter because we're going to just win this anyway. But it's a good habit to get in. All right, I need to get out of the popcorn pretty soon, which does mean I need to spend some stuff. Face cards don't really play well with... Um... Ah, it's fine. They don't play great with Fibonacci, but it's pretty reasonable with the uh, trousers, at least. And I like getting hand size. Paintbrush and Grabber are two of my favorite uh, vouchers. Alright, this is potentially going to be expensive. These are both... F no, this is a Fibonacci option. But... So what we should do is try and play as few hands as possible this time, since they cost money. Unfortunate. But we do get to scale the trousers twice. Uh, this is right in line with our two-pair game plan. Let's go next. I've got a double tag. This will give me $20. Do I want $20 or Mega Standard Pack? Two. I think I want the Mega Standard Pack. It's probably worth less than the... Well, actually, no. This is $40, so we skip it. That's a lot of money. And then we might as well take this for the spare trousers. I mean, I've got a straight flush. But that doesn't scale the trousers. I've got a mega straight flush, but it doesn't scale the trousers. So I don't actually think I want to go that route. I think I want to continue my scaling. And I want the three because it's a Fibonacci option. Pro uh, no, I want the eight because it's a Fibonacci option and I have a lot of them. Fours and jacks, I probably don't want to win this with one hand, so. Eights and five are both Fibonacci. Okay. Brainstorm the Fibonacci or brainstorm the pants? Brainstorm the pants. I don't have room for it. Uh, we sell the... This. Buy this. Now that's a lot of value.
I mean... I guess it depends on what hand we play. Maybe the Fibonacci is better a lot of times. Like, if we play a Fibonacci two pair or Fibonacci full house, then it's the Fibonacci. If not, it's the trousers. Let's just spend some money here. It's a red seal Fibonacci ace. You love to see it. That glass eight was also looking pretty nice. I wouldn't mind getting the slide joker out. Just a redo on the popcorn. Or we could just bring the Sly Joker back in. <laughs> Alright, minus one hand size, but I've got the paintbrush, so we're set. So this, these are both Fibonacci, Fibonacci options, so it's definitely the, uh, the Fibonacci that we want to double up here. I've got threes. I want to keep the eight. They're going to get me out of the round anyway, but again, good habit to get into. I would like to get this out for just some flat uh, guaranteed, like, like some ramen would be phenomenal there. So let's open up this Jumbo Buffoon. Yeah. Now we definitely continue brainstorming the Fibonacci, right? This is the thing that could potentially go later for something multiplicative. Uh, five is Fibonacci, but eight ace is, like, at a high density right now. We'd love a hologram. Like, I've got eight aces. I want to just stack my deck full of aces so that we can get the Fibonacci action going. Uh, we skipped the second one, not because this is going to give me $50 rather than the, uh, uh, the 30. Sevens and fours. Aces and eights. Let's get the four out of here and the queen. Two, three, five are all Fibonacci. Got a lot of aces. How many fives do I have left? Three fives. Three eights. Okay, that's good enough. So going into the boss, we've got two shops left. We'll have a lot of money. I think we skip these and just go on a mega spending spree for the... Uh... Wait. Infinite money glitch? Hanged Man could be good for getting rid of bad cards. Let's just get our standard packs as well. Three and two. Let's get a steel two or... Neither of these exactly what we want. could also just get a tarot card off of the, uh, because we're going to be discarding kings a lot. I'll just take a two. We've got decent value from twos. Open this. A glass five or a tarot three. How many fives compared to threes do I have? I have four of each. Let's 
let's go, just go with the three. Because it, with the, uh, the molt, the hack value goes off the charts. All right, we're gonna skip this. And I now have $100. go here keep the steel card for the multiplier um, and just get the king out of hand very nice let's actually delete these two no, four is pretty reasonable. I don't want face cards. Four is good because of the uh, the hack. Now that said, I do need to discard it here. Got jacks, queens, get rid of the six. Probably the ten as well. Probably not just, let's uh, yeah. here we go. Guess we just play the three of a kind Jack. Might have over discarded here. How much I had leveled up the full house. Reserved parking. It's not terribly helpful right now. Let's go with this. We've just got so much money. <laughs> Might as well use it. Level up the full house. So we're just going to start playing towards a full house since I don't need to scale this anymore. I do need to dump this. That's my priority is finding something ideally multiplicative to dump the uh, popcorn with. Death could allow me to copy the three of clubs. That's pretty good. So let's get this queen out of here and into a three of clubs as an upgrade. I think this is probably going to make it more likely that I or get value off of that when I reroll. Okay, that's something. Get a temporary fist. I think most of the time the popcorn just clears. Well met. Been a while. How's stuff going? I've noticed you're not strictly Hearthstone anymore. Yeah, it's true. We've uh, been branching out a little bit. Thank you, Kit Kat, for the uh, 17 months. Welcome back. Like going into the boss, this is one of the better flat multipliers that you can have. Oh my God! Wait, let me actually think about this. If Unless I have a full house of just, like, five. Like, at this point, the pants might be better than Fibonacci in a lot of places. Right? Unless I'm repeating, re-triggering. A lot of these. So I, I really need to pay attention when I'm actually playing cards for a change. Because there are a lot of hands where the, the pants are better than the Fibonacci. Um. Ho, 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 ho. Okay. Goodbye, popcorn. It was nice while you lasted. I needed that multiplication option. Uh, I've still got $56, so I need to find something. We'll just buy some tarot cards and celestial cards eventually. I didn't need to do use it right there. Alright. 
That's uh, pretty good. So it's a two. I'm going to have to discard this, unfortunately. Which is not a thing that I want to do. Well met. Ice Bolt. Thank you for the Prime. Much appreciated. Let's get rid of the non Fibonacci cards. Or as many of them as we can. What does this do? None of these help me. <laughs> Bye. This is going to be a pain. Okay. Here we go. Finally, we can play a hand that does something. Now, this is one Fibonacci, right? So it's plus 24 from the Fibonacci, but the pants are plus 34. So it's just like, it's got to be better to copy the pants, right? And then maybe we make the king a lucky card. Here, play this in the back. I think this probably just gets us out of it. And since it's only one Fibonacci again, it's yeah, just not worth copying the, the Fibonacci there. Those pants were massive.